Yeah, okay, and we're cool. on. Hello, it's Angie here with the very famous Mr. Dr. Oz. Hey, He's here in our studios, and you have submitted your questions, and we're going to put them to the test. Ready to roll? Let's do it. Okay, the first question comes from Melissa Peterson. She says, is there any health benefit to not passing, is it mucoid? I see. I can't even pronounce these. Plaque if participating in a colon cleansing treatment. It's a, a mucus plug. <laughs> the first question I got to ask you is why are you having uh, these colon treatments? And part of the problem for most folks is that they think they get a huge benefit from them. And listen, if you like getting colon treatments, if they feel good to you to have those tubes put up there, then please go ahead and do it. <laughs> However, uh, I am unaware of any health benefits from having any of these colonics. And and the reason for that is when you are eating the right kinds of food, lots of fiber, 25 grams specifically a day, you actually have a bowel movement that's shaped like an S. Now, why is it shaped like an S? It's a cast of your rectum. So you actually evacuate everything that's in you out. So going in there afterwards to mix it up a little bit and churn it up and let it come out, to me, doesn't make a ton of sense. And I love your, your book, by the way. I have it, and you have all these great graphics that show exactly what you're talking about. Really interesting stuff. Now, second question is from Larry C., and he wants to dispel myths about cancer. He writes, how long is the gestation period for a tumor? I understand that there are different growth phases for certain cancers. Colon, three years. Kidney, 10 years. Breast, one year. So, Larry, here's the reality. We all have cancer right now. You do, too. Not can I possibly say that? Because we've got so many trillions of cells in our body that at least one of them is not normal. It's become sociopathic. The good news is, of course, your body normally can pick, pick up that cancer cell and knock it out. Unfortunately, sometimes it outgrows the ability of our defense system which is always looking, but sometimes isn't looking in the right places to pick up on the cancer. Some cancers grow very quickly. For example, breast cancer, if it's the wrong kind, can rapidly spread to all your lymph nodes. And no matter when you find it, it's already out of the bucket. And the growth period for that is measured in you know, one, two, three years. Other cancers traditionally take a lot longer uh, to grow. Prostate cancer is a good example. Most men will get prostate cancer. In fact, almost every man, if they live long enough, will get prostate cancer. But very few actually die from the cancer. They live with the cancer for most of their life without issues. So the, the duration of a cancer is predicted mostly by what its actual genes look like. And you don't know that until you got a piece of it and you can look at it. That's one of the big frontiers in medicine. Wow, some great information there, Doc. All right, the last one. Here it comes from Chippewa Gal. She writes, for Dr. Oz, I'm 48 and I have five children and I nursed all of them. My youngest is 12 and I nursed her till she was 11 months. I'm wondering why that just before I get my periods, I produce milk. I think I'm in the early stages of menopause. My periods are not regular. Well, the way you can tell uh, if you're getting close to menopause is every morning before you get out of bed, get a thermometer and, and measure your temperature. And if you chart that through a month, you'll be able to figure out whether or not your actual uh, periods of ovulation are becoming irregular. I congratulate you very much for breastfeeding all the kids. It's one of the most important things you can do because it actually gives the kids immune protection as well as key nutrients when they're very young. And remember, the milk in the beginning of breastfeeding is different from the milk at the end of breastfeeding, even in that same episode. So the change that occurs is naturally designed to allow your child to get what they need. Also, don't forget omega-3 fatty acids, critical in kids. That's why all infant formula is, is fortified with them. A lot of mothers don't take omega-3 fats, and 80% of the kid's brain and yours is made of fat. If you don't have the right kinds of fats, the kids aren't going to be is smart. You actually can increase IQ about seven points by including omega-3 fats in your diet. Why do you get more breast discharge around the time of the period? Well, sometimes you've got hormonal surges, especially as you go through menopause, that are very erratic and difficult for the body to cope with. And sometimes that releases more of oxytocin, prolactin, and different chemicals that are responsible for creation of milk and its secretion. So it's, a, it's an indication to us that you may actually having uh, a little bit of a civil war with your hormones. If it continues, especially if it goes beyond when you're having your periods, you want to sometimes look into the brain. Simple tests can do this with blood tests to figure out if all parts of the system are talking to each other correctly. Sometimes it's crosstalk and you want to know that as early as possible. And speaking of brains, I cannot believe your brain fits in this head. You have so much information in there. <laughs> You're very Thank kind. you so much for your questions. And Dr. Ozzy Rock, thank you so much. Love it. Thank you. See ya. Bye-bye. Okay. okay.